Good morning, YouTubers. This is Alex, WA2BMB, with a yet another Drake video. This one of the uh, Drake T4XC. I just bought this uh, radio because it was uh, highly distressed. This is the front panel. I have it off already. I just want to show you the corner. See how bent up the corner is. Okay, believe it or not. That is the least of the problem. I'll show you this. You can see how badly bent up that is. This radio is taking quite a beating. I bought it from a fella in Utah. And it was subjected to some really rough treatment. Not during shipping. This is the way I bought it. I want you to check this out. You're coming down here. Look how crooked that is. That took a very hard shot. Right down here especially. Now look at this. There's no way that that shaft was bent at that angle during manufacture. And it's all, I believe, due to this right here. I'm going to have to take some time and try and bend this chassis back to where it should be. Now, every one of these boards was f almost flat down. I had to turn them back up. They're supported by like little eyelets and uh, the force of the shot that it took uh, bent them over. So it was a hell of a shot. The funny part of it is this radio looks like it's brand new. I mean it's in gorgeous shape otherwise. It's very very clean. Now, as you can see the relay is missing. I found the relay floating around the inside and uh, this is the damage it took. Now you can see the pins are, 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 uh, are bent in different directions. That's how hard of a shot this thing took. I don't know if this was dropped from height or what, but it's bad. Here's another angle of the front. You can see the way the front is somewhat pushed in. Now I made another video lately of how to replace the ball bearings inside uh, the PTO which is Drake speak for VFO. Now I'm going to show you a typical symptom right here right now. Check out this front glass. You see the dial? See the way it, it, it moves around like that? That tells me and closer inspection also showed me that some of the ball bearings are gone. Apparently when this took a shot to the front it angled this shaft and dropped some ball bearings. I'm going to have to, I've, I've already removed the top of it of the PTO just to get a look and it's solid otherwise. The damage up here is minimal. As you can see it's extremely clean. I found the socket on the right had uh, sweep tube in it and it was smashed into the one on the left which was undamaged. Now, now we got the damage back here. This is uh, pretty extensive but I don't think I'm going to have a problem finding these uh, these uh, pots. Look at the back. That took quite a shot. See how it's bent in right here? This is going to be an interesting project to work on. Whoops, just knocked over the case. I'm going to have to uh, take this pot out, this uh, PTO out. It requires uh, unsoldering three wires and there's three screws that hold it in. Of course this is going to have to come off first. Uh, not too concerned about that. Not really that concerned about this damage right here. I can I can remove that small plate and uh, and knock it out uh, on the bottom I got more damage here as you can see this thing just took a hell of a beating I can't understand what happened here I don't know if this thing was dropped or what the problem is with this but I will I, I like bringing these things back I don't like scrapping them because guess what Drake doesn't make TR, um, T4X's anymore in any uh, flavor, the A, B, or C. 
so I'd like to uh, restore this and get it back into working condition uh, look at this right here so some more damage from before I think the hardest part is going to be straightening out this chassis because uh, the chassis itself is like spot welded everywhere if it was if I could unscrew everything I would unscrew it all go ahead and uh, and fix that but it, it doesn't work that way so that's uh, just an overview let you know what I'm gonna have to do to this thing to get it up and running I can't wait it's gonna be a lot of fun like I say the hardest part is gonna be the uh, the sheet metal work on the chassis itself and that's what a T4XC looks like without the cover the uh, the meter seems to be intact anyway whether or not it's going to work I don't know um, I did not try to plug this in to see if I can get anything out of it I really didn't want to do that I didn't think it was a great idea but uh, I've got to replace one of the finals I've got most of the tubes for it these pots in the back won't be a problem um, I checked these switches and believe it or not none of them are damaged I don't know how the heck that didn't happen but it looks like when this took a shot it went this way and that's why this is leaning the way it is when I straighten this chassis out this should straighten out also but I, I was sure that the switch would be cracked or broken but it's not they just have the normal uh, uh, kind of uh, tarnish on them that I can get rid of uh, without too much trouble so there you go that's uh, that's my tale of woe and my next fun project here uh, if you I didn't go into great detail on uh, uh, ex it, changing out the uh, bearings on this because I did a video on that already um, I off a T4 XB transmitter and uh, that explains in detail how to uh, change out the bull bearings so uh, I'm gonna have to do basically the same thing here but uh, I'm not too worried about that it's mostly the sheet metal work that's gonna be a challenge so I guess that's it for me today it's a beautiful morning here in uh, New Jersey I figured I'd take advantage of the beautiful day and the natural light to send you another video on another hopeless radio that I've taken under my wing and just remember no sense buying good radios that work you'll never learn anything and they're not half as much fun so for now I'll say 7-3 to everyone take care of each other stay well be safe this is uh, Alex WA2BMB in Western Central New Jersey saying so long for now